uh, Dean well, well batted. Um, from the celebrations, it looked like this one meant particularly a lot to you. Um, is that safe to say? How much does that have to do with the frustrations you were talking about in the, in the build-up to the test match? Yeah, I think that's ultimately why it, um, there was quite a bit of emotion b behind the celebration. Um, going back into previous series, even against India, it was quite a up and down kind of series for me personally, and um, I didn't think I'd <coughs> I'd um, accomplish what I wanted to as a, as a player for the side. So it was important for me to try and do it in the first two tests against Oz, and uh, slowly but surely I started finding myself again in the, in with regards to preparation and uh, becoming the player that I know that I <coughs> that I that I am. And yeah, I think that's that's ultimately why that that emotion was was there. Hello, uh, Just a word or two on how everything felt and uh, came on for you out there. Because Australia seemed as though they worked their plan very well for our batsmen and the areas they bowled around the weekend left hand and pretty much straight back on the left to right hand. And how much up was that out there? And the of there? I think the wicket is by no means flat. Um, it might have looked at it at the stage when AB was batting. Um, <laughs> that he, he generally does that anyways on any wicket, but um, the wicket's by no means flat. And um, I think they identified certain areas where they can definitely uh, exploit, exploit most batsmen. Um, so yeah, they had clear cut plans. And uh, saying that the, the older ball that, and then the ball was reversing, which, is, which makes uh, batting a lot, lot more trickier. Um, so um, <clears throat> yeah, it, it was it was tough. It was tough out there, especially when you got a new batter in. It, um, we saw when myself and Abby were going actually quite nicely, even with the ball reversing. It was easier because we were in and we gave ourselves time to to score. But the minute you have a few wickets fall down, it's um, it's it's going to be it's going to be hard work for the new batter coming in. Keen, you mentioned uh, in the build up to the game that you felt you you played Nathan Lyon really well and, and well, well in the in the other sort, sort of yeah. In the other <laughs> <other contest. laughs> Just um, how important today was it? It seemed to be you were really positive against them, and I don't mean that by you know, in terms of trying to hit them, but, yeah. but even in your defensive strokes, you seemed really sort of positive in, in everything you did against. Yeah, I think I was very mindful of, of his threat. He's a, he's a quality spinner, and I, I needed to find a way to, to be better than him. Because um, ultimately, it's a battle out there, and uh, it's, it's a tough challenge when, you, when you're facing a good bowler. Um, so yeah, I, I was very mindful out there. I was um, setting myself quite a, quite a lot of high standards coming into this test um, with regards to facing the certain bowlers that we face. Um, so yeah, it was it was nice to have one up um, on him, which I know is never never easy. Dave, how tough was facing back coming to that final session? Yeah, yeah, it looked like he really found um, rhythm in his bowling, um, and we, I mean, we tried to handle him as best we could. I also thought that he was um, he was quite a big threat throughout the whole day, um, but he hit his straps um, with a ball that. That reverses is, is definitely uh, is definitely a handful, but he um, yeah he kept us on our toes and obviously we know the outcome. He got a few wickets there towards the end and uh, he's ultimately brought Australia back into this game. Did you say that the collapse of the team is that due to shot selection? I think it was quality bowling with very good plans that they had. Um, I guess as a player, you want to be positive out there, and I mean, sometimes with positivity, you have a downfall. And the ball was tailing, and as I mentioned, being a new batter with not a lot of runs behind your name, it's, it can be very tough. Um, but they, they executed their plans to a T, especially off the T. Um, so yeah, we, we just we just um, they were better than us in that in that in that session, and we just ultimately have to accept that.